Right, we're joined by P.K. Ray Nambiar, political analyst and someone who supports the BJP. Uh, P.K. Ray Nambiar, short while ago, Rahul Gandhi saying that he wants an opportunity to speak in the House and, uh, and he says, perha but perhaps they will not allow me. Why do you think uh, the government's not going to allow him to speak in the House? Shouldn't they allow him? Uh, I'm, I'm surprised a bit. If you remember the, the first part of the session, uh, he gave almost a 45-minute speech in the Parliament wherein he raised all these kind of uh, questions and which most of the uh, the, the, his uh, speeches were all about his Bharat Jodo Yatra and his experience. And somebody who had been given 40, 45 minutes to, uh, to speak on, in the parliament, after 10 days comes up, uh, goes into some part of the world and starts saying that there is no democracy in the country. And, uh, and even the universities and colleges are also not being given. Up, uh, the, 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 there is no platform like even universities and colleges are also not available yes, for him. Yes, but all that I aside, his waiting. name was taken by union ministers in the Lok Sabha, in the Rajya Sabha and parliament. So he's saying, I'm also a member of parliament. So I mean, isn't that right? And he's just saying that I should be allowed to speak. So don't you think he should be? Absolutely, absolutely. And I don't think there is any reason for the government not to give an opportunity for whether it is Rahul Gandhi or for any other parliamentarians to give an opportunity to speak. And I'm sure that he will get. He, I, what all I was trying to tell you, Gargi, that few days ago, he was given 45 minutes. And any is there, is there anybody other than the prime minister get such kind of a time in parliament? I don't even I don't even think so. So I think just trying to play a victimhood rather than giving a proper answer to the mistakes what he has done, according to me, or otherwise the kind of comments he has raised about our democracy and also it's it's very fascinating if you really look at it we are discussing about a press conference he had just five minutes before and in a demo if, if there is no democracy how he was he was holding a press conference how he has walked about 175 days or 4,000 kilometers talking about diverse diverse issues all across the country by foot and he was given such kind of a security and every kind of I mean, and today, and, and one fine day, he goes out and says that there is no democracy in this country. Isn't it something like anybody who uh, have a, a, the normal course of me will understand this is just to uh, playing some kind of a dirty game that you in a, in, in a foreign country. I think uh, as an MP, he has actually done wrong to the country while criticizing the country. I am I'm of, of an opinion, somebody can go and criticize on a factual basis, but an allegation which has no, no relevance, at least in the case of Rahul Gandhi, it was zero. As I said, that 4,000 kilometers by foot from Kanyakumari to Kashmir when he walked, entire, I mean, including your channel, was showing him his trip day by day, minute to my minute to, to the world. He was freely walking around everywhere. And when one fine day you say that there is no democracy in this country, how will you respond, Gargi, when you hear something like this? Right. The same well, uh, Pekire, sorry to interrupt you there. We're, we're out of time, but we'll come back to you and we'll come back to this issue. We'll slip into